But more than a century before, the park was part of an even darker piece of history. A monument in the park remembers the storied pirate, Steed Bonnet. He was buried in a nearby marsh after his death, but not before he was hung at this very park. Where do we go from here? We could go anywhere. Where do we go from here? Hey there. If you're new around here, I'm Melinda. I'm Tracy. And we are the, the Gallivanting, Gallivanting Gals. Gals. We travel the world to bring you all the best places to visit, the things to see, the things to do, and the yummy foods to eat. So please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on our adventures. Okay, y'all. So here we are in Charleston still. And right now we are walking down Rainbow Row. And as you can see, all the houses are painted a different color. If you look closely, especially on this purple one, let me zoom in for you. Those round metal looking things were from the earthquake of 1886. And those were put in there, they're called earthquake pins. And every few weeks they would come and turn them to straighten up the houses. So when you see those on houses here, you know that these, the house has been here since the earthquake. At that point, they didn't have a Richter scale. And so they said that they estimated it to be, what, 6.9 to 7.3? 7 yeah. So yeah, it's really cool. Just all different colored houses on a beautiful tree-covered street. All right, y'all. So we are in the park at the Battery, which is also called White Point Park. So it's called White Point Park because of the white of the oyster shells. And there's actually a White Point Garden that we'll take you over to. But you can see when we walk through, you can see remnants now of, of oyster shells. Mm -hmm. But um, lots of cannonballs and cannons. This sits on the south edge of, what, of the battery um, for Charleston. Of course, Charleston's got a ton of history yes from the revolutionary war to just the, the houses, civil war I mean, the houses how long the houses have been here yeah there is a lot of civil war history here um good and bad but you know it's definitely part of the history here in this place with these oaks and and just all the houses is just unbelievably beautiful so um, highly a, recommend Charles. Yes, you got a great view over the water. Lots of monuments, uh, different people in Charleston's history as well as, uh, uh, you know, war heroes uh, at the time. So, gorgeous place. Yes. But it is, a, I mean, if you're into history, particularly American history, Civil War history, this is definitely needs to be on a, on a must-do uh, trip for you because it's, it's just full of it. Every, every Every time you turn around, yeah. there's something. Yeah, and it has a very um, European feel to it in some kind of weird way. I mean, just from the streets, from the uh, stone streets, and just the houses and the yeah. history. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it. we're having a lot of fun. So um, we're going to show you around the park and maybe a little bit of the waterfront and uh, go from there. In the heart of the Charleston Historic District is a piece of history with roots going back to the early 18th century. It was the site of colonial style justice in the 1720s and played a part in the Civil War. Today, White Point Garden is a charming waterfront park located right on the Charleston Battery. As the centerpiece of the Battery, the park was used as a Civil War fortification, but more than a century before, the park was part of an even darker piece of history. A monument in the park remembers the storied pirate, Steed Bonnet. He was buried in a nearby marsh after his death, but not before he was hung at this very park, along with 49 others over a five-week period of time. His body was left hanging for four days to deter others from engaging in pirate activity. 
lest they meet the same fate. The Battery is a landmark defensive seawall and promenade in Charleston, South Carolina, famous for its stately antebellum homes. Named for a Civil War coastal defense artillery battery at the site, it stretches along the lower shores of the Charleston Peninsula, bordered by the Ashley and Cooper Rivers, which meet here to form Charleston Harbor. Fort Sumter is visible from the Cooper River side, as is Castle Pinckney, the World War II aircraft carrier USS Yorktown, Fort Moultrie, and Sullivan's Island. Charleston's Waterfront Park is the perfect venue to soak up the scene. With a prime location overlooking Charleston Harbor and the Cooper River, Waterfront Park is a picturesque destination. It is located along Concord Street and covers over a thousand feet of coastline. And as a result, it is one of the best places for sightseeing, nature watching, and outdoor interest of all genres. The floral garden displays the park's famed palmetto tree fountain, which is also known as the pineapple fountain. It is arguably one of the most photographed landmarks along the waterfront. 